one shot from the Century Plaza Hotel and Spa on Burrard Street. It's overcast out there. Russ promised us some sunshine this afternoon. We're holding him to that. Uh, I am joined by Blair Matthew from Sands and Associates. Blair, we're talking about tax time. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting pretty close. The uh, filing deadline is what, a month and a half away. It's coming up, yeah. This is the time we need to start thinking mm -hmm. about it. So so what's the process? So what do we need to be worried about? You know, first off, I think take or a... should be we well, worried. <laughs> and you know, worry is the right word, because so many people worry about mm -hmm. taxes so much. I think it's so complicated. And oftentimes, you know, people spend more time worrying about it than actually doing the return. Yes. It's not that complicated. Pretty straightforward for probably 95% of people to file their taxes. It's very straightforward. So the first thing we should talk about today is just knowing the rules. Okay, and the rules are always changing. It's a moving yeah. bar, correct? Yeah, so all the tax brackets are changing slightly mm -hmm. each year. That's not that important. But sometimes there's extra deductions that if you don't take sure. advantage of them, you might just miss out. So two this year, one is a medical service uh, animal exemption. So if you've got a service dog, seeing eye dog, something like that, you can now deduct those medical expenses, which is becoming more and more prevalent, people with service animals. Mm -hmm. um, a second one is for business owners with accelerated depreciation. If you bought new assets last year, you're allowed to write off more of them in this year's taxes than you were before. So those are two big changes. Where do we find this information if we don't have an accountant and we're doing it ourselves? You know, CRA's website, even just Canada.ca, you can link through to some great tax information. CRA wants you to know all this stuff. There's no attempt to you know, create opaqueness. It should be very transparent. They want you to know the rules. Okay, now when it comes to filing, I know when you owe, you need to file on time and pay, mm -hmm. but what if you don't owe? If they owe you, do you still need to file by the end of April? Well, the deadline, so deadline for individuals who are not self-employed is April 30th to have uh -huh. their return in. And yeah, if you don't owe money, theoretically you don't have to file your return, but it's important to file the return because you want to get that money back from the government. Um, yeah. And if you do owe money, it's absolutely important that you file it by April 30th um, because otherwise um, you're going to have a late filing penalty. Now, if you're self-employed, you've got a little bit of extra time, about six weeks extra. You know, June 15th is when a self-employed tax return is due. But the important thing is they want you to pay as of April yeah. 30th, and you've got to pay your estimated tax bill then. Even you, if you're self-employed. Even if you're self-employed. If you haven't done the return yet, uh -huh. you've got to estimate it, pay it, or you'll be hit with a late filing penalty. And then even if you overpay, you'll get that money oh, back. Yeah, That's a better scenario than underpaying? Exactly. They'll always give it back to you as <laughs> okay. opposed to you know saying, hey, you, did, you underpaid and here's a penalty on top of that. So you're saying when you send your tax return in, if you owe, you send in a check or you e-file pay mm -hmm. online at that time? That's your best bet. Okay. Yeah. If, if you're able to do so, you should pay the balance owing. If you don't do that, well, then you're in a situation where you owe CRA some money and that can be a bit difficult. So you're saying be balance smart. What's mm -hmm. this all about? Well, so a couple things. So your balance can go one of two ways. So one is if you owe money, try to pay it as quickly as you can um, because CRA is going to charge an immediate 5% interest and then about 1% interest per month. But mm -hmm. also if you're getting money back, be smart about that too. So first off, I've had a number of people who've spent their tax return multiple times over. Yeah, yeah. So you think you're getting $500 uh -huh. back and you spend Thanks. it here and there. Mexico, here yeah, we come. Indeed. So only spend it once if you do, but yeah. also think about, you know, what more can that money do for you? Yeah. That's your money. It's, you know, not free money. It's money you've given a loan to the government for. Mm -hmm. Could you put it into your RRSP, your TFSA, could you pay down some debt with it, yeah. you know, try to use the balance as smart as you can. What's your take? What's the best way to use that money? Well, the best bet is if you've got it, because you've already contributed to your RRSP, mm -hmm. uh, would be to put it into your TFSA. That's assuming you're not carrying any debt. If you're carrying uh -huh. debt, pay down pay debt down every right day of the week because you're never going to earn the same investment return as what you're paying on a 20% credit card bill. And that leads us into finally pay what you owe. Yeah, so what you want to do is not owe the government money, obviously. Yep. Um, if you do have a balance, so like well, they don't love it, but they don't like it more if you don't file. So yeah, yeah. if you're worried about not filing a return because you know you owe money, file that return because otherwise the government's going to file it for you and make your balance a lot higher than it would otherwise be. Um, so you definitely don't want to owe the government money. If you do, they'll work with you for about a six-month payment plan okay. to pay things off in full. If you can't pay it within six months, you should come and see a licensed insolvency trustee. We can usually renego ta renegotiate tax debt to about a third, maybe half of what you owe, save you from having to go bankrupt. Excellent. Excellent. Great tips. Thanks so much, Blair. Thanks Thank uh, for coming in, Blair Matten from Sands and Associates. Now we're going to go live to Greg Harper, and Greg is out at a